Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP using JWT. This is our part number 18. Inside this video session guys, we are going to prepare JWT token in login API. In the last video, successfully we had seen that how can we make our login API method. So if I back to code editor, now this is the file that we have developed. Also, we had run this file in our postman and also we have passed our test credentials to see what basically output is. So if we make 1 to 8, now as we can see that user logged in successfully. Now after login, we are going to store some information like user ID, name or let's say email address inside a variable and we are going to encode that variable and that variable something we are going to convert into JWT token. So inside this video we are going to prepare our JWT token with user information. So in the last videos we had discussed about what basically a JWT token structure is. Inside that structure we had seen that there are three different parts. First about header, second about payload and third is about signature. Inside header it tells about what type of algorithm and what type of token we are using and inside second like payload we have to actually store about register claims. So inside that claims we need to store about at what time we have issued our token, expiration time, subject and let's say that we are going to store this time user id name and email. So also we have to store inside the same payload. And finally we need to pass a secret key to make our signature. So these are the things actually we are going to do inside this video. So back to code detail. Now as inside our JWT playlist, as we know that we have downloaded PHP JWT library package. So firstly, to use or to make the concept of JWT inside any API, we need to include this file called vendor and inside this vendor, we have a file called autoload.php. So if we open this folder, so we need to include this file inside this login API. So let's say that we are just going to include let's say vendor folder so let's say require and here let's say vendor and inside this vendor we have a file called autoload.php so successfully we have included this file from this vendor folder now next we are going to use a class from this firebase so let's say use something called firebase and inside this we have called jwt and jwt why we have written called use firebase jwt and jwt so let's understand about this so back to our firebase folder open up and here we have called php-jwt if we open that we have one more folder called src open that now inside this src we have a file called jwt.php so we need to include that so if we open this file now inside this file we have a namespace called firebase and jwt now inside this we have a class called jwt so to use this class actually we have to follow a syntax and syntax tells that firstly we need to include about namespace and finally by using namespace this is the class actually what we have called. Now let's get started about using this class to encode our details and prepare a JSON data. Now if we save this file, so scroll down, now let's say that here successfully user is logged in. Now here we have to prepare our JWT token. So by while including our file called JWT.php, it basically provides a method called JWT. And here we have our encode static method. So inside this encode method, we have to pass some parameters and that parameters automatically get converted by using this method into a JWT token. So the first data we need to pass inside this encode method is about 
payload information so payload info and the second parameter for the signature we need to pass about the secret key so here we need to pass secret key all we have done now so we have to prepare our payload info and secret key so go inside here let's prepare about firstly about payload info so before that what basically payload info contains so let's make an array of that so if i copy this variable pasting it here now inside this array there are several parameters as we had seen that to prepare a payload we have to pass so let's say that firstly it should be issuer means what issuer was actually issued this payload info means token in the second let's say that issuer at at what time in the third something we have called npf this is not before it means that we are going to give this token not before it means we have to pass right here a time interval in the fourth we have to pass the expiration at means EAT this is expiration time of this token so for expiration the keys should be something called EXP and this is our fourth parameter inside next parameter this is audience claim so AUD this is our next parameter and finally we have to prepare our user data means this is another information so inside this array we are going to store about user ID and let's say that we are going to prepare about user name and finally let's say that we are going to store about user email address so these are the parameters actually we are going to prepare inside payload now next we have to pass each value of this key so here I am to define our separate variables for each key so let's say issuer at and they should be issued by our local host next let's say that issuer at so we are going to let's say that after current timestamp we are going to issue this token and let's say not before it means that we will give this token after 10 second so let's say issuer at plus 10 second this is 10 second interval after issuer time next let's say that expiration time so this token should expire this IAT plus 30 second now in the next we have called audience so this is a UD and let's say our platform users means we have a website inside that website we have a register option and I'm going to use this token only for my users so let's say my underscore users or let's say only my users now in the next about data section so finally let's say that here user array so ARR data so inside this we are going to prepare about the user data so inside let's say ID we have called name and let's say that comma and let's say email address so user data basically we are getting inside an array called user data so if we copy scroll down and let's say that user data inside this we have an id key this id key we are getting from our database column name and next we have called name this is again from the database column name and again same as for the email address now all we have to pass these all informations to this payload info array so this should be called ISS this should be something IAT this should be something called NBF not before finally we have to pass expiration so this should be EXP next we have to pass AUD means our audience and inside this data array if we get rid of all these informations and simply we need to pass what we have declared as an array so user array data now finally we have prepared all payload info now next we have to prepare a secret key what we have to pass inside for the signature so I am going to declare a key here so let's a secret key and this key contains let's say that 
OWT as a string value and let's say 1 to 5. This is our key. So on the behalf of this secret key and all this payload info, we, we are going to prepare a JWT token. These payload informations you can just specify inside this array according to your need. Now let's say that we are going to prepare our JWT. So here, let's say JWT equal to and this is all, all about payload info what we have prepared and this is all about secret key. Now finally it will return about JWT string. Now we are going to store here, let's say JWT as a key and this is our value. So if we save all these changes back to our postman. Now if we hit with the incorrect details now this is the error message. Now I think that we are not getting so we have some error. Again back to our code editor go at the top and we are going to include our already we had written about debugger mode. So if we cut this i nice sat and putting at the header, save all these changes, again back to postman, hit send button and this is the error actually we are getting called require, vendor auto load failed to open a stream. So I think that the file inclusion is not in the correct way and it's because that currently we are inside this v1 folder so firstly we need to go back. So this is for the go back and this is all about inclusion of file. So save all these changes back to postman hit send button now invalid credentials obviously because we have passed invalid details now this is our correct details so click on send button now as we can see that inside this output response we have a status equal to 1 message equal to user logged in successfully and this is all about our JWT token so if we copy this token back to browser now here we have called json web token introduction section now if we scroll down to check our web token with the tool so click on start using the tool scrolling inside the footer and if we pass our jwt token right here inside this area so get rid of that pasting it here now as we can see that this is our generated JWT token and this contains all the informations about the first part that is header about type equal to JWT. This is the algorithm. This is our payload info. What we have passed called localhost. This is issuer area at not before expiration time our audience user and this is all about logged in user informations. So successfully guys inside this video we had created our JWT token inside login API. So what basically the uses of generating this JWT token? It's because on the next videos we are going to create our project section. It means our API which create projects for a particular user. So while creating that projects we are not going to pass user ID inside body section. We are going to pass only JWT token. By the help of that token, we are going to decode that and after decoding, we are going to take the user ID from this data section. So this is all about the use of JWT token. We are going to pass our encoded data inside header and we will receive the decoded data by using our methods and decode that. So inside our JWT token generation, only we need to focus about this payload information and only about secret key. Rest of the details only managed by itself managed by encode method of JWT, what we have installed called PHP JWT library package. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.